Hi, folks. Welcome back inside Manhattan Athletics. Chris Schneimel speaking with the head coach of Manhattan Baseball, Jim Duffy. Coach, a, a one and one midweek for you guys, but talk about the official home opener and getting that win in the Battle of the Bronx against Fordham. Yeah, well, it was certainly nice to get out um, back at our home park. We have played there uh, before uh, as the road team, as weird as that sounds, but it was nice to put the white uniforms on and hit in the bottom half of the inning. Um, and for our kids to go out and play well, you know, Sean Abate, he pitched really well. And when we get a good quality start like that, uh, our team looks pretty good. And uh, we went out there and played well and, and swung the bats a little bit. And I was proud of them, of their effort to come out on top, uh, especially against Fordham. We talked since the start of the conference season about getting this team a little bit more consistent maybe with the results. Are you starting to see that a little bit? Uh, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. Consistency is the key is the key for this club. Um, there has certainly been glimpses, uh, and more than glimpses, of us doing things really well uh, at the plate. Uh, defensively, I, I really feel we're solid, and on the mound. But now the consistency will really dictate uh, where we go from here. Um, we have been a little bit more consistent as of late, and uh, and I really believe in their effort and their determination. But if we can get a little more consistent in all three facets of the game, uh, I think it will start showing in our results. You brought him up a moment ago, but you're starting to get some really consistent, good midweek innings out of a guy like Sean Abate. Yeah, correct. Uh, Sean has, has pitched well, and um, deservingly so. He's a hardworking young man, uh, much like his, many of his teammates. Um, but Sean has gone out there, he's been aggressive, he's thrown strikes, and he's trusted his stuff, and he has good stuff. So he's gone after teams, and, and he's able to uh, reap the benefits of that uh, in his last couple outings. We've talked about hitting being contagious. Do you believe it can have the same effect on the mound? I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. You know, it's a competitive thing with pitchers. If one guy in front of you pitches well, then you want to go up there and kind of follow it up. You know, people say hitting is contagious and things like that. I think contagious is just a, another word for really believing in yourself and expecting something good to happen. You know, two guys in front of you uh, get a hit, and, uh, and then it's your time to, to get up to the dish, and now you expect to get a hit as well. So I think our, our mental toughness and our mental expectations uh, have a lot to do with it, especially when you're talking about the art of hitting. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do, so the mental game is, is more than half the battle. This past weekend, not the results you were looking for, but that trip to Canisius, the defending conference champions, we talked about them having a lot of experience on that squad. For this young team to go up there and compete with a squad like that, how does that help? Well, you know, obviously we're not happy with the results uh, up at Canisius, but you're right in saying they are a veteran club. They have good pitching, and they got a bunch of veterans in the lineup. Uh, to produce runs for them, and that's how they've been winning. Our guys competed well, especially in game one, and we kind of had a heartbreaking loss. We got left on the field, and uh, we didn't rebound from that real well. Um, so, but I'm still, uh, I, I have to be uh, optimistic that somehow, some way, that series is going to benefit us uh, in other ways. It didn't help us in the win loss column, that's for sure. Um, but I'm hoping that our young guys and our veterans, uh, you know, we learned from that series. And, uh, and now we move forward and, and to try to play some more, some better, more consistent baseball. Talk about the idea of a baptism by fire for, for this squad, especially in terms of the pitching staff. Well, yeah, it, it is like that. But you know what? Those guys are out there because they deserve to be, those young guys. And, um, and, the, and if we didn't think they were capable of getting the job done, then we wouldn't have them out there. Um, but there is, it is a fact that there's some young guys out there that are going out there and they're learning on the job. You know, the baptism by fire, there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you're mentally tough and you can kind of grind through some stuff. And we have that in guys like Rochetti, uh, and Favre, uh, Joe Jakes, and, and, uh, and Simonetti and those guys. So I believe in those guys, regardless of their numbers. And, uh, and they should continue to believe in themselves. Uh, and their better days are ahead of them, and, um, and maybe not too far ahead of them starting this weekend. This weekend, you host Iona here for a three-game set. Another team that, at least record-wise, stumbling out of the gates a little bit. Well, you know what? Um, it, it is a big series with Iona, uh, especially when you're looking at records and things like that. And I guess it is my job to pay attention to that stuff. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Uh, I think our opponent right now, for for me and and our club, is is probably. Uh, the least of our worries. Our, our focus is internal in, in, in how we play. Our schedule, we've played some very good teams early on, uh, including Canisius. Uh, but those non-conference games early on, it, we're, we, we built that schedule so we could be battle-tested. We've made too many mistakes, and good teams don't let you make mistakes. Uh, it's time for us to get a little bit more consistent and start reaping the benefits of that early schedule um, as we head into conference play. And Iona, is, it's another local name that um, I think people around here care about uh, if you win or lose.
you talked about it with Fordham and, of course, the focus being internally with this team. But when you look across the diamond in that other dugout and you see Fordham or you see Iona and a rivalry game, how much does that kind of help build the intensity? I think it certainly does. You know, these kids, they're college kids. I have to remind myself at times that they are 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. And I'm sure that's something, that stuff means a lot to them. You know, I would like for us to really be focused on what we need to do, whether we're playing Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, or Iona and Fordham. Um, and, and we should play the same way with the same intensity every time. But the reality is, uh, I don't think it'll be tough for our guys to get, you know, fired up. And I, I would expect our intensity to be at a high level this weekend against Iona. And the reality is, um, all the games are really important for us. Mm -hmm. All the games, the conference games, are really important for us um, as we go forward here. So I expect a, uh, I expect a tremendous effort from my guys. We haven't had a chance to touch on it yet, but just briefly talk about the expansion of the playoffs in the MAC and how that might help because every game is that much more important. Absolutely. It is a different look uh, this year. There's, there's two more teams added to the conference to make it 11 total. And now there's six, conf now there's six teams in the uh, conference championship at the end. So um, you're, you're, everybody's scratching and clawing on a weekly basis. There, there's a lot of parity in this conference now. There's, there's good baseball being played in this conference up and down. And uh, so it's extremely competitive, and you know, obviously, you got to you got to fight each weekend to uh, to get your uh, get your club into that conference tournament with a good seed, so you have a chance to get hot at the end. What are your biggest keys for this weekend, coach? Uh, consistency all around, um, but most importantly, let's not give Iona uh, anything free. Make them earn every base they get. Um, if we make the other team, whether it's Iona or anyone else, earn every base that they get, uh, we'll be in pretty good, uh, a pretty good position to win the game. And then I think it's important for our, uh, our older players, especially our position players, to, to go out there and lead uh, and get some big hits when we need it. And uh, when we score some runs, it takes some pressure off the pitching and the defense, and uh, we're able to go out there and, and, and play at a high level. Jasper's host conference rival Iona this weekend at Van Cortland Park. Doubleheader on Saturday, game three on Sunday. All three games can be heard live on GoJaspers.com. Until then, for the head coach of Manhattan Baseball, Jim Duffy, I'm Chris Scheimel. Thanks for joining us inside Manhattan Athletics.